I, 25F, just found out my boyfriend, 29M, is in a weird secret society and it changes my opinion of him. For background, my boyfriend, 29M, and I, 25F, both went to snobby name brand American colleges, but we had very different experiences. I had an absolutely awful time in college. I was a scholarship student doing 17 hours per week of work, study, so I was in a very different economic position from many of my classmates and people were not kind about it. I became a big target for bullies because of my bad grammar, Walmart brand clothes, and lack of knowledge of the finer things. I did manage to make a tight group of friends who were in a similar situation and we've always stuck together. We now communicate mainly via group chat. My BF, on the other hand, went to an expensive boarding school in the UK where he was head boy, yuck, and was thus treated like a god during his time in college. To be clear, we went to different schools, but they were very similar in terms of social structure. My boyfriend can sometimes be a tad snobby, but one of the reasons I love him is that he seemed to have a genuinely kind, generous, and humble nature. Our relationship has been great for the 1.5 years we've been together and we're quarantining together. This morning, one of my old college friends sent a link to a Google account to the group chat. As it turns out, one of those absurd secret societies at my BF's old school had been hacked, and someone had uploaded all their old documents, emails, and chats to this Google account. I know it was unethical to look, but all my friends were all having a great time making fun of these absurd snobs. I noticed that the majority of these emails were from seven years ago, when my boyfriend would have been a senior. I also noticed that one of these boys, indeed, the fucking president of the society, had the same first name as my BF. My boyfriend has a very common, commonwealth rich guy, name, so I thought nothing of it and assumed it was a coincidence. Now, some of these messages were mundane, but many were mean. Elitist and cruel in the worst possible way. They actively scheme about how to tell if someone is, the wrong sort of person, read, poor, so they can make sure not to invite those people to join. They make fun of potential members for things they can't help, like, in one case, a stutter and, in another, a lazy eye, in a really cruel way. They made explicit sexual comments about girls they all knew. And, possibly worst of all, they all openly agreed that it was best to keep non-white or female members to a minimum, only accepting one or two so as not to seem, racist, if the administration should demand to see a roster, as it occasionally did. All of us in the group chat were reading through these, literally hundreds of pages of information, at the same time, and all of a sudden one guy sent a message to the group saying, oh my god throw RA0224. Look who it is. Plus a screenshot of the official roster document from my BF's senior year. My boyfriend was listed as president with his full first, middle, and last name and the name of his dorm leaving no room for doubt. My stomach just dropped. Then I started searching through the alumni folder and found lots of evidence that he is still regularly involved in this group's meetings. My boyfriend is still zooming in the office, so I haven't asked him about any of this. I don't even know what I would say. I'm aware that college boys are incredibly immature, so my boyfriend may have done some growing up since he graduated. But now I can't shake the thought that my boyfriend secretly thinks that I'm the wrong sort of person, and maybe even makes fun of me with his friends when I'm not around. It's making me feel sad and sick. Am I overreacting? Does this discovery permanently change the relationship? Should I just write this off as, stupid kid stuff, and move on? Is there any way I can talk about this with him? Edited to add, I'm getting a lot of DMs calling me a, gold digger, for some weird reason. I think I should say that I am not relying on boyfriend to support me. Yes, he is wealthier than me, but I have my own career and we split all living costs. On another note, I greatly appreciate everyone who has taken the time to leave constructive comments. I really need all the help I can get. I think discussing this discovery with him would be beneficial for you both. Give him an opportunity to address the more repulsive of his communications directly. Perhaps he can own his poor behavior and assert that he has grown a lot since them. Perhaps he will not and justify it. Either way you will learn some more about who he is today compared to back then and will have more information to make a decision. I'm aware that college boys are incredibly immature, so my boyfriend may have done some growing up since he graduated. And hash x200b. Then I started searching through the alumni folder and found lots of evidence that he is still regularly involved in this group's meetings. These two sentences are completely at odds with each other.
You know he's still involved with this society, which means you know that he still holds this society's values to be true and right. He hasn't grown up, and he hasn't left this lifestyle behind him at all. If you're happy to stay in the relationship knowing that, that's up to you, but you really can't try and pretend that he's a different person now when he clearly hasn't changed. If he is still involved with them, he likely still has the same opinions. It's a sad state of affairs that people feel, this is acceptable. Being a racist in a small group, is still being a racist. Being a racist is learned behavior, do you want your children to learn that it's acceptable? As a POC it's been my experience that people that hold racist views don't change, they only get better at hiding them. It's also been my experience that people that choose to date racists are just as bad as the racist themselves. So sit him down and find out if he participated in saying this stuff. But if he did, I wouldn't recommend believing that he, changed, I mean come on. Dot the dude was basically president of a club that said no blacks. You really want to spend the rest of your life with that guy. Yikes. It's a no from me. This would be a deal breaker for me. Racism and sexism are repulsive. It's not that hard to treat people with respect, unless you're a poss, which behind closed doors, your boyfriend is. I think you can't make a fair judgment about it until you hear his side of the story. I understand where your reservations are coming from, especially with being bullied for similar issues but it's been what, 10 years since your boyfriend was in college. I think considering it was so long ago it's at least fair to bring the subject up to him and gauge his reaction from there. If he still has the same thoughts and opinions I would then consider re-evaluating if you want to be in a relationship with him. Rory. Dot you knew about Logan when you interviewed him when you worked for the Yale paper about the life and death brigade. She's. Is your boyfriend Draco Malfoy? How and when did you guys meet? I think it might help to write down some of your thoughts. This has the potential to be an extremely emotional discussion, and having a list of, bullet points, of things you want to know or want to say to him might help you when you're feeling overwhelmed. Because he might respond in any number of ways. He might get defensive. He might be dismissive. He might listen carefully then calmly tell you why you're overreacting. He might break down and cry and say he's grown up now. You just don't know what is going to happen. I know it feels like the world has shifted. I'm so sorry. Do the best you can to collect yourself, and figure out what you need to know to move forward. You have a lot of fellow Redditors rooting for you. Edited to correct a word. Is the group aware they were hacked? Has it been publicized? Because if they, he know and he still doesn't say anything to you about it, especially if his name and picture is attached to it, then it seems like he really is trying to hide this part of himself from you, and that's scary. It also might be helpful to pull aside the person you're closest to from your group chat and get their advice. If they know him, they might be able to help you suss out whether they've seen any behavior that makes them think he holds the views he espoused in his group. I'm wishing you all the best. This is a tough situation. Don't be afraid to leave if your gut is telling you to. I'm sure there's a lot more to this story, but from your comments you sound like your own special version of a snob and have a lot of resentment and issues with people that aren't in your own socioeconomic class. You've got some deep-seated anger and resentment issues and I'm honestly surprised that you're even with your BF. Durham Uni, by any chance. Remind me. One week. Ask yourself about how your boyfriend treat less well-off people in general? Is he nice to serving staff for example? Does he hold the door open for cleaners if they're passing through? People do stupid stuff when they're younger but then grow out of it. As for his current involvement, either he's changed and is still a member, or he's still the same snob as he was back then. Could just be that your boyfriend wants to stay loyal to all the friends etc. he made. Edit. You should also, quietly, get a sense of what he thinks about traditionally marginalized groups such as black people. The question comes down to, has he grown and matured or is he still actively participating in that classist elitist bullshit? If the former, no biggie. If the latter, biggie. You'd have to make the decision from there as to whether you can tolerate that kind of asshattery. When someone shows you who they really are, even inadvertently, believe them. That's lame AF. What a waste of time. He's still involved. I think this tells you exactly the kind of person he is. You're in denial. Phew. Honey, that's a lot. And, yeah, if he's still involved, that's another thing too. Don't be afraid to actually tell him, look, I found the X-Club documents that were hacked. 
I found out you were president, and I saw what you and your, brothers, said about poor people, POC, and people with disabilities like my brother. Why are you still in contact with these people? Do you still feel that way about other people? And feel absolutely free to tell him that you want to hash this out with a couple's therapist if you choose to stay. When he's with you and when he's with this online group of old college chums he's a different person. Only one is his real self. Please don't be quick to assume that the way he behaves with them is the real him. Open a dialogue with him, discuss your feelings and concerns before making any decisions. I'm truly sorry that you had to find something like this. What a punch to the gut. I think you should speak to him but unless his involvement as an alumni with that group is rooted in changing their racists and elitist ways I can't see how he can justify staying in touch. The fact that he's regularly involved and you had to find out this way is alarming. I don't know much about your relationship, if it were me in your shoes I would run tears of joy bc I don't think I would be able to look at him the same. But I don't know him or you so talk to him. Don't be afraid to take space if you need it and listen to your gut. Maybe he can explain it all away. Best of luck in this situation and I am hoping for the best possible outcome. People change. What matters is who he is now. This post screams immaturity on all levels zero and both sides. Jesus Christ. You're a similar racist if you even entertain staying with this loser. Have some damn self-respect. I had an ex like this and started withdrawing all feelings for him. He paid for everything though. So what for he does it's not my business as I didn't have feelings for him. I am not as concerned that he, as you stated, would consider you, the wrong sort of person, but think that you may be haunted by the fact that he is. I think you two need to have a long talk. Maybe he can grow and change. Some people say a person cannot change but at least you both deserve to have a deep conversation about his behavior and views. Best of luck to you. Who in the fuck reads this and then goes on to take the time to DM you and accuse you of being a gold digger? What in the fuck is wrong with people these days? How about you talk it out with him, don't be aggressive or accusatory. For one thing, especially in college and colleges like this, you need to follow certain groups, it's not up to you to choose, or family members and your job opportunities are gone. And two are pushed to get the highest position that you get plus in a mob situation. You can do horrible shit but once you step out of it, you realize how disgusting that shit was. And hey, if you can't forgive the past then it's better to leave him rather than be in a toxic relationship where you will always hold it over his head. I don't think it's just kid stuff that he's grown from if he's still a part of the group. Makes me sad that this exists. Op, you do realize that even though he seemed to hold these views back in his college days, he still fell in love with you and is currently having a great time with you. While I am assuming knowing all of your story and background and socioeconomic status right. Then I don't understand what is there to be afraid of. If he truly thinks you are a piece of trash you wouldn't be together for two years sharing a loving life. I do think a conversation could be had there. But I don't think you should think of this too much as this is almost half a decade a decade ago and way before he met you. Ask to speak to him about something serious first, so he's in the right mode. Hand him a copy of everything you found on his involvement and simply ask, what is this? His response will tell you everything you need to know. I think this requires a discussion. If he's still in communication with these people maybe he'll be willing to show you the kinds of things they talk about now, so you can see whether or not he's grown and matured from those days or if he's still the same jerk face. Op you should confront him. Now that you've found out this messed up secret life, if you don't say anything you'll live with that doubt forever. You should also learn about psychopath behaviors. Seeing that with you he is an entirely different person to what was on that chat, goes to show that he can play two roles very well. It's hard when you find out that someone has this sort of dark side to them. I know how it feels because I found myself in a similar situation. I had strong feelings for a man who was in a better economic position than me. He was nice to me, until I met his circle of friends. They were all paw snobby guys who made sexist and racist remarks. At first it shocked me, but when I saw him share their opinions, I dipped the fuck out. There are usually two types of rich guys, ethical and hypocritical, the third one being a noble. Since he was in a secret society, they are usually hypocrites, from my personal experience. Find out which one he is because if he's the latter you will only be heartbroken in the relation. To be honest, reading through all this, I've come to the conclusion that you just don't trust him. Period.
No matter what he says, all it's going to take is one skip up, one off color joke, one a thing, and you'll be right back to where you are, in your head and doubting him. It's done. Don't torture yourself over this. You could limp the relationship along for a while, but distrust is a seed that grows. Intimacy involves trust and a willingness to be vulnerable. How are you going to be vulnerable with him again? Just walk away. Pack your bags, leave him a note that says simply, I know, he'll figure it out. So your boyfriend was and is still participating in a white supremacist, sexist, classist, and eugenicist club with many others just like him. If that's not a red flag I don't know what is. I don't think talking this through is a good idea. Tell him why you're leaving and then leave. He was, head boy, yuck. I don't understand. Head girl, and, head boy, are pretty normal things in the UK. My school had one as well and I never found the term, yucky, or anything. It's something along the lines of a class president, but more representative for the entire school's students when giving speeches and stuff. The head boy from my year was a pretty chill dude and quite popular. To be fair just ask him about it. And yes you have ties for life, but that does not mean at all that he is still approving or bullying himself. He is not active anymore, but often with fraternities there are like yearly meetups etc. My advice is to not follow Reddit's advice here, break up. Just talk to him about it, check his side of his story. This is so long ago, it's not at all relevant for how you perceive him right now. It was in his past, stop digging. You love him now for his current self right, it was in his past so I see no point in thinking about it. People change for the better. Sounds like skull and bones at Yale. I do feel like if he espouses that kind of cruel rhetoric, even if he was, pressured, into it, it's time to reevaluate how much he values you and how much weight he may put on the wealth gap between you two. The dichotomy of hating on, poor, or non-elite people while dating outside of his inner circle is, questionable at best in that he won't defend you to his, friends. Best case scenario, this, society, is a means for him to get ahead in life and he deems the behavior a necessary evil. Could you handle that? Not to sound rude but, why do you care? It was seven years ago and people are very impressionable when they are young. If someone was a bully at school and grew up to be a good person would you hold that against them? Feeling insecure over what you think your partner may have thought about you when he was young and in college is a bit daft. I think it's fair that a conversation needs to happen. Having this sort of behavior as a senior is pretty unsettling and needs to be addressed. However, people can survive in college by putting on a mask. I think you need to seriously consider if his mask is with you, or rather this group. You should read them and get the full picture. It doesn't sound like a person you would want to have take your whole life. Seems like a weirdo culty retard to me. I'd advise to have a talk with him. Write down everything you want to say so you don't have the, I wish I said that, moment. I would give him an opening along the lines of, have you heard that documents of a secret society at you old college were leaked? It is said to be around the time you were there. Rumor has it that they spewed some pretty racist, elitist, misogynistic stuff. Have you ever heard of, secret society? Don't outright tell him that you know he was the ringleader. Let him talk. And see where this is going. If he won't fess up tell him that you are curious what goes through that people's minds because you used to be on the receiving end of their worldview. Tell him you plan on reading these documents. His reaction will tell you what kind of person he is. If he is genuinely sorry or if he tries to cover his ass and try to discourage you from reading. Remind me. Three days.